Nama! Welcome to this week's vlog. Grand Mesa Nordic Race Series number two is a, yesterday was a 10k uh, freestyle up here at almost 11,000 feet Grand Mesa. So thank you for supporting the channel and uh, yeah, get out and do so as to be. guys are ever racing that grand mesa definitely stay cedar edge uh they make you handmade uh homemade sorry just woke up omelets oh my god so good heading down there in a second race kit i've always uh, coached my athletes to think from the earth up when packing their kit start with the race boot don't want to forget those compression socks with a outer layer sock lycra so I want to see if I can use the Durango kit upper body today. If it's warm enough by race time, it's only 13 degrees out right now. Uh, so I got that under layer. Neck gaiter, also a headband or a headscarf if you need it. And then the shield. Lucky number? Maybe. I don't need a lot of luck. Um, first time ever I have been to a race here without those wind flags fluttering or absolutely getting ripped apart by the wind. Wow, this is really cool. It's uh, 24 degrees right now. We're 45 minutes away from the start. I've learned that at 11,000 feet, I don't I don't benefit from trying to do a super thorough warm up like do openers and things like that. At 11,000 openers is just like Bernie matches that you'll need later in the race. The first kilometer is kind of downhill as is the final one. So I'm going to use that first kilometer. Um, I go very conservatively, got to work my way through these races over the course of the season. Hopefully let the shape. Uh, mature as the season matures. So uh, today I'm going to stage myself conservatively, like probably th fourth row, and that will the it's a mass start. So the racers in front of me will force me to go slow. Try to work into it and build, build, build. About it for filming. I am going to try to ski here distance tomorrow. So if the sun is out like today, I'll try to get some beautiful footage for you tomorrow. But I'll do a post-race uh, check-in. Come on. One hour later. Sorry. Oh gosh. Dave and I are always coughing and hacking at you guys after races. <clears throat> okay, job done. 14th overall. Don't know where I was in the age group. Come for the races, but stay for the potato leek soup today. 
Uh, last race, they had this beautiful lentil soup. God, what is it about soup after Nordic races? Wow. All right. I did uh, some pretty good things right. I did start conservatively. Uh, I stayed in the classic tracks a lot. A freestyle race means that you can classic or skate. Uh, but they're only scoring points for the season based on time. Skate being the faster of the two disciplines. So sadly, I had to do skate today. Uh, but I did spend a lot of times double pulling in and out of the uh, classic tracks. That kept my heart rate within reach. Yeah, let a couple of racers go toward the end there. I probably, I just don't have any gears, you know. My mind knows what to do. Uh, and again, just not a lot of adductor strength. Um, and, and again, the altitude, that's, I'm not up here a lot. So, yeah, kudos to uh, <clears throat> Grand Mesa Nordic Council and um, putting on a, a race number two of the series. And uh, we'll keep you updated as we go. Thanks. As promised, the very next day, I tried to grab some quote-unquote easy kilometers on top of Grand Mesa. I say easy because here in Durango, most of our Nordic trails are very, very steep, hilly. We don't get sustained open corridors of undulating flatter terrain to practice the higher speed techniques. So take advantage of it when I get to Grand Mesa, which is our nation's, if not the world's, question mark, highest flat-topped mountain. There are three different areas, right from uh, three different parking lots. Um, I'm starting you guys out here on County Line Trailhead. This is one of two places that allow dogs on the trails, I do believe. The other one being Ward Lake, which is a bit uh, lower in elevation than these two. Uh, from County Line today, I'm going to take you over to the more racer-specific area the Skyway Trails. The distance between County Line, the dog-friendly uh, trailhead, and then the racer-friendly trailhead is, I don't know, maybe four miles. Um, and I hope you enjoy this sneak peek at this most beautiful, pristine mesa, which somehow has gotten world-class grooming going on for several months of the year. 10,000 feet. Enjoy. Enjoy.